What's going on, you bunch of heretics? Got your paint pots, got your recaf, and let's get some paint on the ever growing pile of potential. It's here, the Heresy is my therapy slap chop tutorials. Tutorials? Tutorials. Uh, and today we are, well, giving some love to the poster boys of 40K. That's right. So we're going to slap chop some ultramarines. As always, everything you need will be in the description below. So without further ado, Let's get to it. Okay guys, here we are. Same start as ever. We've got our Infernus Marine that we're gonna to use today. As always, Mechanica Standard Gray, Administratum Gray, Orthron Gray, and of course, White Scar. As always guys, no change to how we do things. Um, I'm still just gonna use the dry brush for the time being, and I'm still just gonna use the, the tissue to take everything off. Um, I know many of you in the comments have been saying about getting a dry brush palette. That's all well and good. And we'll probably go on to making one of those uh, shortly. But yes, as always, guys, we're just taking it all off uh, with our Mechanicus on the grey. Big circles. And we're just getting the initial dry brush done of our model. Plenty on. Nice and messy. Medium dry brush. And then use your small dry brush to get into the to the lower access areas. Mechanicus and the grey applied. And now we move on to our administratum grey. As always guys, give it a good old shake. Plenty on, and again, just use our tissue. Or if you've got a, a dry brush palette, go ahead and use that. And same again guys. Again, now we're starting to really pick out those highlighted areas. Nice and messy. Just get it all in the areas that we can. And hopefully you're starting to see the change, the highlights getting made up. So let's just get our administratum grey on. Don't need to go underneath, just keep it to the tops. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right and so administratum grey done. And now we're going to move on to our to our author and grey, same again, shake it up. Oh, a bit more of a shake, 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 I think. Oh dear. Good old shake. And again, same again. You know the routine, guys. Plenty on. But remember, with the author and grey and the white scar, we're just going to go down the model. Okay, down the model. Yep. Down the model. Down the model. We're not going, shh, 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 shh. it's just flick, 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 flick. Okay. Okay, guys. <laughs> All thread and gray applied. Now, finally, we're going to do our, our white scar. So, same again, shake it up <laughs> on the brush. And you know the routine, guys. Yeah, nothing's changing after all these videos. No secrets here. And same again, we're just going to go just down. I'm going to really pick out the, the tops of the shoulder pads, tops of the weapons, just the tops of everything. We're not trying to get into the shadows. We're just trying to pick out where the light would catch. Use your, use your light that you've got. Just, you know, pick out where it is. Now use that light where it is that light's catching. All right, where that light is catching. Okay. Right, there he is, primed and ready to go. Okay, so for our ultramarines, very much like what we did with our crimson fist. Gonna take some coffee, two seconds. Mm. Good cup of joke. Sorry about to hear that. We're going to go with our Talisar Blue. The reason why I'm not using Ultramarine's Blue is I I prefer a bit more of a classic colour. And I don't quite like the way that the Ultramarine's Blue sits. So, as always with these guys, we are going to get our Talisar Blue. And we are going to just get around this model. Remember, same again. Two, three parts paint. One part water. 
There guys, I've got a very concert there. I'm trying to <laughs> try and show you as best I can. Okay. And as always, guys, yep, you know the routine. We're just going to place it on, move the paint around, okay, because we just don't want any of the blotchy areas. Okay, so this is plenty on here. And all we're going to do is just start moving all of this paint around. All right, once you start to see it pooling, yep, as always, we move it around. You see it pooling, we just move it all around. Okay, so we're going to get that done and get all the areas that you would expect our classic old train to be. All right, remember, nice and thin, nice and light. And if you want to darken it up, you can do. You just go back to it, all right? But again, don't let this pool anywhere, all right? We don't want it pooling. Don't want it pooling, just want it building up nicely. Excuse me, guys. My camera decided to fall. What an idiot. All right, hopefully you can see that better now. There we go, all right? So yes, nice and easy, nice and light. Keep it three to one. We're doing the entire, well, just all of the space main parts that you want doing. So remember, we're going to leave the crest. We're going to leave the shoulder shoulder pad out parts. Get the pauldrons on here. This bits, this bits. Helmet. Um, and of course, back legs the lot. All right. That is the the blue applied. I'm going to take this opportunity now to put on some sterling mud to get a real simple base. As we've done before guys, sterling mud, really, really easy to do. And what this allows us to do is just for a bit of timing wise, it just allows us to be able to get a base on while we're waiting, uh, get the base on early, because we've got the, the main layer on. And it just allows it while that's drying, we can do the other bits and pieces in preparation uh, to put some Agrax earth shade on at the end of it, if that makes sense. So basically, once we've done our blue, all we're gonna do here, as you can see, we're just putting our, we're just putting a base down nice and early. All right, we've got our base applied and we've got our blue applied. Now we're gonna go for a bit of a classic look. This is just classic look, classic look ultramarines. We've got our iron den yellow, and all we're gonna to start to do is, same again, we can water it down a little bit, maybe a bit of a, a two, three to one, thinning it down. And all we're doing is shoulder pads, or the outskirts of the shoulder pads. Okay, outskirts of the shoulder pads. The crest. And that's really it for the yellow. It's a real classic look, but we are gonna make it into a bit of a, a non-metal metallic themed. Okay, because we'll be adding Gorgon to Fleur and Cygore Brown in just a second. But remember, working light to dark with the rest of it. Okay, so crest and shoulder pads. We have it, there's our yellow applied. Uh, and now we're going to move on to our Cygore Brown. Again, all this is going to be for is for his, uh, all for his belt kit. And then we're going to apply some really small little areas uh, into, uh, to create that non-metal effect. Again, one to one maybe, or sorry, not one to one, three to one. Paint to, uh, paint to water, sorry. And like I say, we're just going to get that on in here. Again, if you can, you know, a couple of layers just to really make it um, get that depth of colour. All right. So once we've done that, all you're then going to do is just really into the small recess areas of the of the crest where you would where you would put your Agrax Earth shade. All right, so again, just into the into the crest, 
really lightly, just weathering it in, just to kind of break up the, the colours between the yellow and the brown to create a slight effect. All right, don't go slapping it all over, just really lightly with your small layer into the creases. Okay, same again here into the corners, a little bit onto the top, but again into the corners, around the side, just a little bit. Nothing more, we're just trying to break up the shape a little bit. That's all we're doing, just break up the shape a little bit. Okay, and of course the rest of the of the belt kit. Okay, continuing our sort of gold effect, we're going to get our Saigor brown, and same again. This needs to be almost like one to one, really, really light, because uh, Saigor browns are really, really dark brown. So once again, I'm just ever so slightly, just dropping it into certain areas into the creases, really want to create some real depth in the yellow just to make it a bit more of a, a non-metal metallics feel okay so I'm just very slightly putting it all in there same again the shoulder pads all I'm simply doing just a little bit into the corners where you put the brown before just into the sort of middle middle of that to just deepen it up a little bit okay deepens it up and then all we're doing again really super super light just over the webbing patches just on the main bulk areas just again we're just creating a little bit of depth in the model okay again just nice and easy nice and thin Add to it should you need to. Okay, just add to it should you need to. Cool. There he is. Done. Right, next up, we're going to now, we're going to grab our Blood Angels Red. Again, like I said before, I like the classic look of having the red the red weapons. Okay, remember we are the lighter colour. So we'll do the blacks at the very end. Alright, so again, you can thin this down a little bit, and all I'm gonna do is just get the weapon in red. Okay. If you haven't got uh Blood Angels red, you can always use flesh hair as red. They're almost identical. I think Flesh Terror's red is just a little bit darker. All right. You know what, we're going to paint this how we did our Dark Angels one. Plenty of the weapon in that red. Okay. So there we are, weapon all done and in red. Uh, I added a bit of... Um, what was it? Sorry, just for the uh, purity seal, I had a shyish purple yeah, instead of the uh, the red. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna now we're just gonna go into the his inside armor wear and his pistol. But we're just gonna go straight up with black templar. All right, so black templar again, just water it down, one part water to two to three parts contrast. Okay, nothing wild. Nice and easy. And all we're gonna do, yeah, as we have been before, just into all these into all these areas here. Break that down. To these parts. Uh, into the grooves, into the hand grip. And here. That's about it for there. Uh, just break up there. The canister a little bit. I'm going to paint those bits silver actually. A bit into the canister in there. And of course, finally, oh yes, the pistol grip. Just in there. Okay. 
pistol grip done as well. Okay, right. That is, in essence, oh no, let's get our Zandari dust. We'll need that in a minute anyway. But Zandari dust, I know what we're gonna do is just use that to just do the purity seal. We've got it anyway, we might as well use it for the purity seal. So in here, and I would just dunk and rhodes it and just two thin coats into the purity seal. Okay, so the, um, the parchment on the purity seal done. All we're gonna do now, guys, just get a bit of the gold one to thur. You might have some left over in your wet palette. And if you have, you can just use that. Um, so this is our gold one to fur from our wet palette earlier. And all we're doing is really, really lightly just placing it onto our parchment. Easy as, and if you want to add a bit of that gorgon to fur, uh, sorry, the Saigor brown mix, just to break up even more. Hey, who am I to stop you? Who am I to stop you? Yep, because like I say, when we dry brush all this over, it's going to uh, it's going to blend out. All right. So now that we've done that, this should almost be dry. And all we're going to do is, all I'm going to do now, guys. I'm going to put some Agrax uh, shade on the, all over the base uh, and then uh, wait for that to dry and uh, we'll get on with the dry brushing. Uh, once that's, uh, yeah, from a batch painting perspective, you know, you could now really be working on all your other bits and pieces, uh, getting them where they need to be now. So, yeah, so we'll uh, we'll get some Agrax Earth shade into the base and hopefully that, that will let that dry off and then we'll get onto the dry brushing of the Zandari dust, pop the eyes in, do the metallics. Job done. Easy as that. Right then. Ooh, okay, so we have now got our, our Agrax Sir shade in. Um, like I say, guys, if you were there, obviously it's just skipped a little bit, but while that was like the break, if you will, I managed to do a few more bits and pieces, but now it's time for the magic to be applied. We've got our Zandri dust, guys. You know the routine. You know how this plays out. You know how this goes. We grab our Zandri dust. We get a little bit on there. We get plenty on there guys and you know the routine if you want to grab a, a fresh tissue you can do or of course if you've got your your palette your dry palette we're just taking it all off you know the routine remember guys we are just feathering this on real light okay real light just feathering it on real light and we just start to see the change happen Okay, we just start to see the change happen. That non-metal metallic starting to take shape. Again, just brush it all on. Oh, sorry guys. I keep forgetting where I am on this bloody thing. Okay, and we just real, real light all the way over the model. Real light. There you go. Okay, really, really light. Okay, really light. All of them are, I know I keep saying really light, but it is. We are literally feathering this on. Absolutely feathering this on. Okay. Once you feel like we've run out, again, back in. Take it all off. Use your... Use your dry palette or your texture palette, whatever you want to use. And once again, just absolutely feather, feather light, feather, feather light. Okay, absolutely feather light all over the model. Okay, don't press hard. I mean, this is absolutely feather light. You can press hard around the feet. I'm gonna create a bit more of a dusty effect around the foot. That's fine. I'm gonna create a bit more of a dusty effect around the feet area. Hey, yeah, no worries at all. But otherwise, for the rest of the model, we are absolutely 
feathering this on. Okay. Okay, for a little bit of uh, a bit of a, a, a final effect for some of the for the non-metal, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ushapti bone, and I mean take this is this is this is like every last bit of this. Take this off, 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 off. All right, and all you're gonna do is just on the crest, just a final little wash over, and just ever so lightly on the pauldrons just to give that crest a bit more of a, bit more of a glow out. All right, now what's all to do is just to do our metallics. Again, dark silver, uh, I'll be using uh, an, an iron warrior, using iron warriors. Then we're gonna use our nuln oil, just to, where's my nuln oil, there it is. Our nuln oil, and then a very quick dry brush with some iron breaker. Okay, yep. Okay, yeah, so Iron Breaker, uh, Iron Breaker, sorry, Iron Warriors. All we're gonna do is Iron Warriors just on the, just using a bit more of a bigger brush on the areas that we want metallic. Okay. So again, just along the grill work of the Infernus weapon. Nice and easy. Oh, uh, again, whatever bits that you decide to show on the sort of like I suppose like the cartridge. Again, metallic in here. Super light, super easy. And then just wherever on the canister that you decide that you want to go. So I'm just going to use these bits here. Bit on there, bit on there. Skull and crossbones. Cool. Happy with that inside here. Same again, just in all the areas, tops. And then all we're gonna do, same as before, is just on these grill parts, vents, whatever you wanna call them, I don't know. Okay, on these grill parts, on the vents, top. Super easy. Dip inside, dip inside. So the top's there again. Okay, and now all we're gonna do, grab our null oil. Null oil, again, just around all of it. I mean, you can do the effect however you want to do this. It's just a really easy way of doing it. There's plenty of tutorials out there that will teach you how to do, um, you know, quick and easy uh, metal. This is just a, a really simple way. Nothing wild, super easy, real basic level. Um, but again, we're just trying to get our models on the tabletop. You know what I mean? Of course you do. That's why you're here. You want to get done quick and easy. Oh, I hear you, brothers and sisters. I hear you. Right, bish bash bosh. Done. Right. Now, we're going to very quickly, while we're here, we're going to do the eyes. So, all I need, you know the routine, I just need my white scar. And I'm going to use, again, either my Flesh Terrors or Blood Angels Red. Easy enough. Again, small brush. As we have them for all the helmets, for me, most of them I use a red lens. If it's a red helmet, then obviously I'll go green lens. Um, but again, we're just, nothing mod. Remember, white scar, a little bit, just a little bit inside, inside the lens. Um, inside here, I might have a bit too much on I think. Ooh. Yep. Again, all we're doing, inside the lens. Again, white again as well on this side, both sides, in the eyes. Again, if it's a bit rough, it's okay. Remember the, as long as we're just getting it inside the lens, if you get it on the side a little bit, no, oh, sorry guys, if you get it on the side a little bit, don't worry too much. Oh dear. Okay, don't worry about that, that's absolutely fine, because we've watered it down, just take that out. 
Yeah, we can just take that out. There's no problems at all. All right. But again, all I'm trying to do, guys, is just get inside the lens. And then all I'm going to do after that is just grab my... I'm just going to grab my but then just red and just go over it all. Yeah, so in the lens is one side done. Other side, there we go. Fill it out as much as you want or as little as you want. Like I say, if, you, if it is a bit messy, hey, so what? So what, guys? All right. It's all about learning. That's what it's about. Hopefully you can't see my massive head in the way. So once you do get it around the sides, it doesn't matter because all that's going to do, it's just going to create a little bit of a glow. All right. So hopefully you can see it's a little bit messy around there. Okay, but all we're going to do now, flesh tear is red. Sorry, blood angel is red or flesh tear is red. Literally a little bit water just onto the palette and then straight into the eyes. And again, wash. Straight in, straight into the eyes. Bam. Yep. And again, that will just create a bit of a glow and will just sit rather nicely. And that will just sit rather nicely in the eyes. All right. Okay. So that's him pretty much done. All you're going to do now. I'm just going to very gently dry brush over the the final metal work. Bit of a long bit this one, isn't it, guys? Hey? Bit of a long bit this. I'm all over the shop uh, with my iron breaker. Again, shake it up nicely. Get a bit on my iron breaker. Okay, we've got on there. And we're just taking, as always, we're just taking it all off, guys. We're just taking it all off. Okay, and then same again. All we're doing over the tops, we're just going to very gently... A bit of shine, just dry brush that over there like that. Too easy. Yep, a little bit of where you've gone before. Just making sure we take it all off, though, remember? Making sure we are taking it all off. Yep, and then again, same again on the vents. Done. Little bits of the canister, bits of the canister in here. We go all along the bottom there. There, easy as that. All I'm doing now, guys, I'm going to stick some flock, put a bit more of this Andrew dust over the base, and then Rhinox hide around the sides. So I will uh, skip to that part. In fact, I'll just show you where we're at currently. All right, there he is. I hope we can see that air. Nicely done. All right, pretty much all done there. But once we're all done, I'll show you that in just a second. Right, there you have him, the finished product. The boys in blue, as it were. Uh, yeah, there he is. Uh, like I say, you don't have to go too heavy with the eyes. Um, you know, it is quite a quite a quite a glow there, uh, but I do quite like the, that there. There he is, a bit more of a classic Space Marine look with that little bit of flock. Um, and the Rhinox hide around the base. There he is. Well, there you have it. Ultramarines, slap chopped, easy as that. Hopefully you have found this video useful and you've been enjoying these slap chop tutorials. If you have, uh, please give us a like, leave a little comment, and of course, please subscribe for plenty more videos to come. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.